Today we're going to do what has been impossible for so long, making an AI video. Yes, with the new Hanyuan video model, you can create AI videos locally in your own machine. And with the new FP8 weight releases, it consumes even less video memory. Let's get started. First, we need to download four models. I'm using a Jupyter Notebook, but you can do this on any machine that has ComfyUI installed. First, go to the Models, Diffusion Models directory, and download the Hunyuan video model file, which I've linked below. This is a very large file, so it'll take some time to download. Next, visit the Models, Clip folder, and download the clip files related to the Hunyuan video model, and drop them in here. Remember to download both files, because having one is not enough. Finally, go to the VAE folder and download Hunyuan Video VAE, which we will be using. Links to all these files are down below in the description, so make sure to download them correctly. Now, before using this in ComfyUI, make sure to update ComfyUI to the latest version. I really cannot stress this enough. Please make sure to update it to the latest version, or you will encounter a lot of errors. After the update is done, drag and drop the workflow I provided to ComfyUI. Now, if you place the models in the places I mentioned, then you should have no trouble loading the models in the right places. In the Diffusion Model section, select the Hunyuan video model. In the Clip Loader, select clip underscore i dot safe tensors for the first clip name, and the Llama 3 file for the second clip name. Finally, load the VAE file to the VAE section, and then you are done. Now let's get to the video generation, shall we? In the clip text and code box, enter the prompt you want. I'm going to keep what's already written since that's enough for me. Next, in this video settings section, make sure the resolution is 480p. You can generate any resolution, but resolutions like 720p or 1080p are going to take way too much memory, and you're going to run into out of memory errors. In the length box, make sure to mention the number of frames. Here's how to do the calculation. Here we generate a video with 30 frames per second. So if you need a 2 second video, you need to enter the value 60. If you need a 3 second video, the value 90, and so on. For now, I'm going to keep it at 60. Next, in the seed box, make sure the seed is set to randomize, or else you will be getting the same video or styles. And if all that is done, you can hit the Q button right here. If this is the first time you're using it, it's going to take a long time to load up the model and make some tweaks in the back end, so make sure to go prepare your coffee or do another meditation session while the first generation is going on. Of course, nothing is going to stop you from generating portrait videos as well, so here's another example with a portrait video. Now the next burning question you're going to have is, how do I increase my duration? Obviously you need to increase the frame size, but one way or the other based on your GPU memory, you're going to run into this error called out of memory error. When this happens, it is time to change the weight type. Go back to the diffusion model node and change weight underscore D type to any FP8 version so the necessary compressions can be applied. With this, you'll be able to generate even longer video. This is a five second video I generated. So that is it for the video generation. I plan to bring on a couple of more videos related to this, such as loading LoRa's, creating videos from images, or from another video. Stay tuned for this, and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and want to see more like this. And I'll see you all in the next video.